Okay, I really, really shouldn't start this right now, but I can't help myself because it's the last one. So, who is it? It's, uh, Uncle Broadsword. Cool. I thought he was a respite of Link or something, but apparently not. So, he's got a combo attack here. That's pretty neat. And he can kind of hover in the air like that. That's cool, too. Kind of reminds me of, uh... Boyd of, uh... No, it's not that. It reminds me of something, I don't remember what. Okay, you have no costumes. Okay. Yeah, so he just kind of loses all momentum in the air when you do that, so I can't do something like I might do with Link, where I, I slash in midair and then just keep going through. I'm interested to see what his power-ups are, to be honest. He seems less good at attacking than Link, but much better at jumping. So... Maybe it's just my imagination, though. I'm not even reading these guys' texts. Why am I talking to them? My house is on fire. Oh, no. Oh, this level required... relied heavily on the ice ball mechanics, so hopefully they still work out whatever they are. Yeah. This probably isn't even all that different, so I'm not sure why I'm having trouble with that. Alright, here's the fireball. Whoa! Goofy looking headdress, and now... Nice, he gets a third hit to his combo. Cool. And now he can do a super downstab lunge thing. Jump here. Whoa, don't fall off the platform, me. Oh, did he just charge that? Well, it doesn't matter because he's dead. <laughs> but I guess I should be careful holding Y. So I still need to hold Y to run. Hmm. Okay, so I can still upstab, but I can't downstab right now. I'm not 100% sure why he can upstab and not downstab, but. I'm sure there's a good reason behind it. Gotta be careful with my momentum here. But he does jump pretty high, which helps a lot. So... Yeah, if I slash and then... Wait, I can do that. But I could just combo and do that. Unless it does more damage this way, but I'm not even sure what it would do more damage to. Regardless, if I slash in the air... I don't, uh, I don't start charging, which is good. Ah, uh, that's, for some reason I was expecting it to work like Link and I was planning to bounce on the Potaboo or something, but that didn't work. Yeah, see the thing is, in this level, the lag times from all his attacks are really impacting me a lot. Ugh. I caught back up to it, which is nice. Even though I might... I probably need to ride it again. Dang it. This is harder with Broadsword than it is with... Normally, because... Yeah. Because it... I can't just, like, throw a bunch of fireballs from far away. I've got to... And then I go and do that. Great. Oh, can I just whack the switch? Yeah, I could've just done that to begin with. I'm an idiot. All that effort to get the shell through instead of just, uh, smacking it. I'm practically no poor puss right now. Oh no! Ah, I lost my momentum because I took my finger off the Y button for a fraction of a second. I so wish I could kill that Potaboo somehow. He is really in the way. Yeah. Well, at least I don't have to jump on the ice this time. Oh, I can't fit in there. Well, this level's impossible. <laughs> at least I have confirmation of that now, so... I feel like it would have been impossible anyway, because there are parts later where I would have needed uh, long-range ice shots, and I wouldn't have had them. Unfortunately, re-rolling the level drops away my power-up. Well, uh, there goes that mushroom. 
It's unfortunate. Force Revolution 6. Well, let's see how this plays out. Another platform level, <laughs> which I don't think Broadswords was so great at, because if I attack in the air, I have that moment of getting stuck, so he doesn't keep up with the platform anymore, which pretty well stops me from jumping in the air. I mean, jumping in the air, slashing in the air. Whoa, I fell through the platform there. Arguably just as likely from the platform as it is from the mechanics, but... Yeah, I have no more lives, so it's probably gonna get against now. I haven't even made any progress. I'm sure I can beat this level with a couple tries, but... You obtained the hat! Now you're protected from anything! Oh, he can do the charge move. Whoa! Okay, he can charge it up another stage, too. That's cool. Yeah. But in order to start dashing again, I need to slash in the air to avoid charging. But then if I slash in the air, I run the risk of falling off the platform. It's dangerous. No! Dang it. Stupid Spivex from Bear Belt Physics. <laughs> Milled the planes. Oh, it actually looks like a hat in this context. Cool. Yeah. Combo attack. Wait, why wasn't that working before when I was trying to do it? I swear I was smashing the button fast enough to... Oh yeah, the midpoint's in a bubble for some reason. <laughs> well, this level's pretty straightforward, so... Although... Yeah, there was, there was... It was really weird, as I recall. Yeah, good that doesn't destroy it. And I found a leak! fitting for Uncle Broadsword. I can't remember whether that was the levels thing or if it's probably Uncle Broadsword's thing, but... <laughs> this level <laughs> contains Toho music. Okay, that's the level name. Proceed level with caution. You may be welcomed or invited for a picnic by sudden appearing Bonsai Bill or even Shulking Koopas. Yikes. I read it because I haven't read it before. Uh, I can get that. I can't get up there, but I can get the power-ups. Good enough, because that's all I wanted from up there. So, can I get a bit of forward movement in the air by doing that? Yeah. So I can do something like that. Except I didn't grab onto the vine because the vine isn't real. Well, that would've been cooler if... <laughs> if it actually worked. Like most things. Oh, well, I thought those were... Uh, possible to pass through for some reason, but I was wrong about that, apparently. Okay, I can't seem to do the combo when... Okay, I can only do the combo when I have the, uh, hat on. That's why I wasn't able to do it before. And get momentum, and bounce on the spring. Don't you dare fire right at the wrong moment. Let's go up here. That's weird how he can kind of just, like, jab his sword up <laughs> repeatedly while he's going up the pipe. Can you slide? Yeah, you can. Cool. Not that it really helps me right now, but... Mm. Okay, so when are you gonna fire? Oh, you fire the other way. What? Ah! You can't... S you've got a moment where you can't be slashing, so I've gotta be careful. Oh yeah, that dumb Goomba. Okay, <laughs> that's not something that's gonna happen again. Oh no! I almost dumped it down the hole. I wanted to see what it was. Okay, so double jump. Just making sure there's no, like, triple jump or something. And I can also glide. That's pretty great, especially since he can jump a great deal higher than uh, Toad can. He can jump more like Luigi height, so... Well... Whoops. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm not sure what that charge roof is actually useful for, but maybe it breaks blocks or something, I don't know. Either way, it's super cool. Can I break these? No. I don't see why I thought that even for a moment, but... So, I'm assuming this is a choice in direction, I can go either way. At least it's easy to tell that I can go through that I can't go through these mushrooms.
Okay, so where exactly am I going? I'll take that. It is pretty sweet, as the thing said. <laughs> I, at least if I go to, to the right half of the level, I can glide over to the left half of the level. That wasn't really my plan when I went over there, but that probably worked okay. Wait. I think you can jump infinitely as long as I'm holding a shell. Is that right? <laughs> I this is this is wrong. I think I won't <laughs> abuse that. So goodbye, shell. Um, wait. Where am I? Did I float all the way back over here? Well, now I have officially no clue what I'm doing. I'm not sure if I can kill that guy with my sword. Yeah, probably not. Boing! Boing! These mushrooms are pretty high. Yeah, I'm just checking that I couldn't climb on that white spring or some string or something like that. Are these pipes that I can go in? Yes. And now I have no clue where I am, but. Here's the green switch Goomba. Not sure if that actually helps me with anything, but... You can die. Okay, it, it... It was theoretically needed to get to that green platform, but I can just cheese everything with Uncle Broadsword's double jump, because he jumps so dang high. <laughs> Pro tip, when on a cloud, try not sandwiching your head between a solid object above you. You'll fall off your cloud, and such technology to solve this problem hasn't been invented yet. Oh, and it's best to follow the mini coin pairs to avoid getting hit by projectiles. Well, good for that. I probably don't need the cloud at all, considering I'm Uncle Broadsword, the guy who can jump higher than anything. I, I probably could have come up with a better analogy than that, but... Jump up here. Jump up here. I assume... Nope. Can't get up there. If I could have gotten up there, I would say 50-50 odds that it was deliberate. Ah, oh, dang it. Did not react fast enough to that. Ugh. Well, at least I have a spare in reserve. That wasn't what I meant to do. Ah, uh, I can't duck here. That's not good. Hey, I found it! <laughs> okay, I found the blue switch. Which on the last one. Oh, it spawned in my face. Ugh. Holding the shell just in case, especially since Uncle Bronzer can't die. Yeah, I, nope, I killed it. Well, that sucked. 
Ah, well, it wasn't that hard to get to the green goom anyway, so I didn't need to cheese it by throwing the shell out there. That really saved me no effort. Would have, and it wouldn't even have saved me effort even if it worked. Yeah, kill that thing and just barely get onto the platform. Okay, this time I actually need the green platform here. Yeah, gotta be careful. That's not being careful. Man, the way he bounces back is pretty dangerous. Okay, wait for you guys to fire. It's implying that there might be something here. Or not. I thought for sure that there was going to be like a vine or something to climb up to that other mushroom, but there wasn't. Man, I hope I get a power-up soon. Am I farther than where I was before? I'm not even 100% sure. Hey, a midpoint. Nice. Boink. I wasn't sure whether he was going to hit the ground or the platform, so I just kind of backed off a bit. Well, that was close. Ugh. Okay, it shoots both ways, unlike that other one earlier in the level that I was waiting to fire for a couple seconds and then it just didn't. Oh. Almost missed my cue, because I was scratching my head. And I had to do that without running speed. can't go very low in the cloud, so I've got to be super careful. Can I turn around by... no, I can't even physically turn around. That doesn't work either. I'll wait for you to fire again, because you're nasty. Ugh, that didn't work either. Oh, how am I supposed to get through here safely? It kind of worked, but I'm not 100% sure why they didn't fire there. He also doesn't like to move on diagonals in this thing. Yeah, because I'm holding down and left, and he's only going down now. I'm not sure if there's unique cloud physics for different characters or what, but... Sorry, such science hasn't been discovered, so you'll have to get off your cloud and pick up the throw blocks. Be sure your cloud doesn't go too off-screen or disappear in over refills. Actually, constantly using the throw block to break blocks and such is kind of boring and slow paces. Let's make it somewhat amusing. Um... Well, I could probably just go up and slash them, all things considered. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, ah, that was close. I just gotta get to the right place because this hitbox is not too obvious. You know, let's just uh, jump out and hit it. That works too. Oh yeah, I guess he doesn't turn around because that's normal cloud physics to this game, but... Oh man, the cloud is making things so much harder. And I can't use this, can I? Oh, I can still use this. Maybe I should have jumped back at the cloud. Yeah. I, can I get up there? Maybe if I duck? I'm not even sure that'll help. Yeah, well, hopefully I don't need the cloud for anything other than what it's already done. So, you shoot. I'm pretty sure that wasn't aligned with the pipe. Yes, power up, that's nice. Kinda needed that. Oh yeah, these are grinders, aren't they? I was being silly earlier, thinking I might be able to kill them in virtually any way, because there's pretty much no way to kill a grinder. I'll wait till you guys shoot again. Oh wait, I guess I have to jump to make that work. You guys are poorly timed. That's not where I'm supposed to go. Is it down here? Oh, I would have appreciated some warning on what to do. Well, that's the end of that, I think. I don't think Uncle Broadsword's too bad. I think he just got a selection of... Uh, pretty tricky levels at a time when I'm not playing at my best, so... Okay, let's do Uncle Broadsword for realsies this time. Last time I was just too tired to finish it off. Unlike Snake where I just got fed up, this this time it was just really... Oh, well, this level is no good. Let's roll for another one. Oh, it's this level. The level that has absolutely nothing to do with the character I'm playing, pretty much. What's the best option here again? 
I think the fastest thing is technically just like grabbing the boot or something like that and then just like running through the entire level yeah you can go in the boot but I probably can't actually do that anymore so <laughs> let's just see how this goes you're at here missed jump on the Monty Mole and then I can just jump into the boot at the end to make it to the end. Hooray! Oh hey, the music's actually working here now and I had to dump my hat away to reroll the level. This is no good either. Uncle Broadsword is getting a lot of levels he can't play. Okay, this is just a random tank level. Oh yeah, I remember doing this with Snake and it didn't work at all. It was impossible, but with Uncle Broadsword it should be no issue. He can just go up and slice and dice and do cool things like that. Whoops. He reminds me of Sword Kirby a little bit. Unfortunately, I can't do cool down stabs or anything now that I don't have my hat. Aw, oh, why'd you crash? Come on. And now I'm just someone boring. Uh, let's see if I can also get some of his other power-ups, too, because I really haven't seen many of them. Of course, I'm not... whoops. That was... fail. Of course, I'm not going to get anything from Superb Demo Sisters, but... Nothing except a Fire Flower, that is. Look. Okay. <laughs> it takes him a little bit of set... a little bit of time for him to wind back up again after he slashes, so I gotta stop messing up. Slashed. Slashed. There we go. Defeated the first two spinies in the level. I am a pro at this game now, officially. Step on you. Void you. You can die. Much easier to kill you guys from the front. And now I have a three-hit combo. And, even better, Uncle Broadsword can use springs. Isn't that amazing? Which means so many more levels are actually doable. You can die. Oh, spinies don't come, go towards you in this game like they do in uh, Super Mario Bros. Crossover, which is nice. You can do a nice little hover in the air, which is cool. Whoops! Damn it! <laughs> I wonder if I could have just slashed Lakitu? I can't remember if he's actually killable in this. Ugh, and then I messed it up, <laughs> because I don't know what I'm doing. I love how the score with Uncle Broadsword is just like stuff like rad and cool. It's a nice touch. Alright, jump off of you and kill you. Just swashbuckling awesomeness. And grab the flagpole. Whoa! Ow, I hate how loud that is in this game. It fries my ears when I'm wearing headphones and whatnot. Oh, can't do anything here. Oh yeah, you can do that little charge thing too, even though it's probably hard to use effectively. Yeah, ugh. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a fail. And I think these are just extra spinies if I happen to want extra spinies for some reason. But I can kill Lakitu, and almost myself for that matter. Oh, I can't crash eggs into them in this game. Well, let's see if I can stop sucking against... Ugh, I should have pressed the button to combo a second time. Hopefully this time with 20% less fail. Invasion 2. I could, I might be able to swim outside the left side of the level like I can sometimes in this game, but... Whoa, he can't attack underwater. Okay, good to know. Wish I knew that before I tried to slash the fish. fall down here and there's a mushroom that I want wait a mushroom and not a hat that's weird so I can still slash when I get out of the water what happens if I downstab into the water nothing more or less okay whoops why did I not move when I meant to there we go 
jump over you. Let's just keep going, and now I can go back. Get in there. This is kind of... whoops. This is relatively plain <laughs> compared to playing other levels with Uncle Broadsword because it's mostly just uh, normal physics. But we'll take that over snake physics. Walk it under here. Fly over him. Hello, random fish. You want to be my friend? Let's go up here. Ready for being out of the water and being able to upstab the air. Those clouds will never know what hit them. Maybe this is a bad idea. The fish are going nuts. Just... And now let's go back down. I probably missed a power-up somewhere in there, but it didn't really hurt me, so uh, that's okay. And let's grab whatever I got there. Sweet! Superb demo, sisters. I guess it's kind of fitting for Uncle Broadsword. Although, uh, he's not really one of the demo sisters, but he's relatively close. Did I throw that or kick it? I meant to try and hold it, but let's try with that guy down there, instead of slashing his guts out like everything else. No. But I swear I... Yeah, he, if I land on top of it, he'll grab and then throw it, instead of, like, bouncing off. Yeah! Nice! Secret vine. I didn't even know that was there. Because it's kind of hard to remember the details of Superb Demo Sisters levels. <laughs> they all blend together more than the usual. Yeah! Fly downward! Oops. Fail downward. It was kind of cool how he held that through the screen transition. <laughs> Slash your face. I can actually throw that over the gap because he throws instead of, uh... It's so nice not having to worry about searchlights everywhere. Slash you, slash you. What happens if I go next to the spring? Nothing. He won't, like, throw it or anything. And prepare my ears? Yeah. <laughs> the Invasion 2. He's getting some pretty straightforward levels here. The kind of levels that Snake desperately needed. Okay, he can pick up grab blocks. That's good, because... Otherwise, I'd kind of be stuck here. Can he pick up... He can pick them up from the side, too. So he can't grab a lot of things, but he can grab... Grab blocks. And... Okay, yeah, he just kind of flies forward really far like that. I'm not sure what the fire sword actually does for him over... Uh his normal sword, except for, you know, destroying ice blocks, I guess. Die. It's so cool to use that move. Though, of course, it's also extremely dangerous. And let's just slide down the hill, even though I already messed it up. By killing that other guy with my sword. Can I stab this? Nope. I guess I can grab that, even though it basically does nothing for me. And there's nothing from hitting that Koopa, I guess. What do you have to say? Oh. Well, good for you, Toad. I probably don't need to get up there, but... Stab him. It's always cooler to kill him with a third hit, even though it does nothing different. I can get rid of a few blocks by doing that. I'm not sure how to actually do what I can actually get out of his charge for the most part, but it looks cool. <laughs> this kind of a running theme for uh, Uncle Broadsword here is I have no idea why I'd use this, but it looks pretty awesome. Oh, it's the, <laughs> the fight against the Notion Thief, okay. <laughs> I am now charging my sword by mistake. Uh, you mean every level when I was flying a snake? Oh. 
So in other words, you're Snake? Gosh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Stabbed. <laughs> I, I probably just kind of bounced off. We can rise above violence. Oh, I, and Uncle Broadsword is a gentleman, so he knows already. He's already charging up for the music. Where's the music? Uh oh. Okay, I dropped the bombs away cheat code. Will that help? Yeah, whatever was supposed to happen, it's kind of broken. Sorry, Uncle Broadsword. You're too stylish to even play this game. Let's try one more time. Every time I go into a cutscene, he starts charging. So this time I'll definitely make sure that I don't press the attack button. I'll just jump on him. Dang it, he just did it for no reason. Okay, this time it seems to be functioning. Okay. That didn't work. Let's run a little bit. Okay, that didn't trigger an event that messed anything up. Okay, I can't hit it that way. Uh-oh. Okay, now picking up the shell worked. Oh no. Oh yeah, that was a superb Demo Sisters feature, wasn't it? The picking up the shell thing not working. That's why. It had nothing to do with Uncle Broadsword. But of course I th threw the shell up in the air by mistake. I love how he just opens by doing that supercharge slash thing. Jump on the coin. Over here. Now I can grab the shell and hopefully not mess it up this time. There we go. Um, I can just slash the crud out of that. <laughs> Don't need to worry about the thing. Slash you. Yeah, take that. Alright, take my finger off the button and start jumping just to try and... Oh wait, you just talk. Okay, good. No more events breaking the game on me. And I managed to defeat him in the true gentlemanly duel. Which is nice. But I still lost a life blowing myself up. Oh. This is, I guess, is fitting for Uncle Broadsword. Still not sure these cactuses will do anything at all for me. But, nice. He just destroyed that. He was just like, yeah. Okay, gotta be a bit more careful than that. He jumps higher than Link, so I, I can ram my face into the enemy. Ah, oh, shoot. How did I mess that up? I can slash the crud out of him. Dang it. They knocked me just down the hole. And the spring showed up, but it was too late. Alright, so this time I'll stay a little bit farther away. Just keep stabbing upward. Those flames don't seem to be... Okay, now you're in my way. Kill the fire with fire sword. Fighting fire with fire. Okay. That worked. Thank goodness, because I was on my last life there. That was getting close. I think that was a decent set of levels to have. And so, I beat the Mario challenge with every character. I think that went pretty nicely. So yeah, super fun. I like most of the new characters. Basically everyone except Snake, to be honest. Uh, Uncle Broadsword is super fun to play. Sort of... He resembles Link, but he's got some cool new moves, and he slides on the ground instead of in the air when he slashes. And he just kind of gets stalled in the air, unlike Link. But it allows you to do some cool tricks with hovering, and you can super quick downstab, so... So yeah, I guess that would be the end, but I think I'll do one more.